for them. But while you're single, well, yes, uh, everyone, in, as you know, I've written quite a bit on some of these topics. Everyone should have a spiritual advisor. I mean, if you have a, a fitness trainer, you have a barber, you have an electrician, you have a beautician, you have a, a, a financial advisor, you have an attorney. So some people, as they get older, have two or three or four doctors. Why do you have them? It's because you pay money for, because there's some aspect of your life that they, at least theoretically, know better than you do, and you need their sage advice. So central to a Catholic marriage should be this, I want to be holy. Now, we have to have the right image of holiness. We're not talking about wearing a uh, habit around the house. I mean, we want to grow in virtue. We want to have a relationship with Jesus Christ. We want to take advantage of the sacraments, particularly penance and the Eucharist, and also a, a spiritual fitness trainer or a spiritual consultant, a spiritual advisor. I've used all these different uh, similes in order to explain uh, that concept. That's your accountability. And also, every time we go to confession, that's our accountability. We accuse ourselves of our sins, uh, venial or grave, as the case may be, or in our habits. Yes, it's very important to have accountability. Um, and, and accountability frees us. It's, it's, not, it's not constraining. It frees us because we know there are a people or an institution, let's say a, a movement or <coughs> ecclesiastical, new ecclesiastical realities, as Pope Benedict refers to it, that is there to help us to grow in happy holiness and happiness are really in many ways the same things. Yes, so that is important accountability. Do, do, do you have any commentary on the on this? Comment?